And tonight's strong reaction from both sides as the city of Aurora moves a big step closer to passing a camping ban. Yeah, many people, especially business owners, are relieved that something will be done to clean up the area. But there are some others who say it's not fair to push around the homeless. Mayor May Kaufman cast a deciding vote last night. Under the plan, which still needs to pass a second vote, the city will provide at least 72 hours notice before cleaning out a camp. It will also provide people a place to go with food and water. Michaelia White working on the story for you from Aurora tonight. Michaelia, you got to hear several points of view on this. I did, Karen. I talked with business owners who are near I-225 in Mississippi, and they had a mix of emotions. So some of them really heartbroken by all of this. Others say that they are expressing relief that hopefully a remedy is coming. It's a concern for the safety of our patrons. Benny Panklang has been trying to open his restaurant Manila Bay for more than two years. His biggest concern is what's right outside his business. Right now, this is what you'll see on any given day at I-225 in Mississippi and Aurora. Homeless camps lining the side of the highway, people in tarp-covered tents, panhandlers, and debris. You know, we bought this property back in October of 2020 and decided this is going to be a new venture for us and bring Filipino food and Filipino food to the community. Born and raised in Aurora, he says he's never seen it quite this bad. After the RTD built the underpass, there's definitely been a large community of homeless people camping right underneath it. The new ordinance banning urban camping passed six to five just before midnight with the tie breaking vote coming from Mayor Mike Kaufman. That's despite some residents speaking out in opposition. It's hard on all of them. There's different humane ways that we can provide housing and include wraparound services so their problems are being being met. Peng Klang hopes it'll mean good news. I think it's going to be beneficial for businesses overall. I definitely want to make sure these people out here in the streets have a place to go to as well. And Peng Klang also tells me that he's been working with Aurora Police over the last several months to help minimize crime in that area. For now, though, we're live in Aurora. Michaelia White covering Colorado first.